Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Fred the Godson, aka Goldo Fred the Ego, Big Bronx, you know, the God. Who is Fred the Godson? Ah, uh, Fred the Godson. He's a uh, he's a rapper, different rapper. Well, let me not say different. He's like the original lyricist. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, it, it'll be different in this day. You know, like. Judging from what you comparing the things you might hear now, you know uh, he's a like a, a fan of the '90s, like with lyrics mattered, and you know he he takes time with the pen he writes, and he gives y'all them punchlines, the metaphors, the bars. Wanna explain your childhood to us, neighborhood, growing up, schools. Uh, 156 Fox, 156 and Fox. I was born on College Avenue. We had a fire, um, moved over here, right out the block, um, 156 and Fox. Uh, we lived in a shelter, me, my five brothers and sisters, and uh, my mother and my father. You know, it was rough, tough, we didn't really have no money. Father was on drugs at the time. Um, you know, we had the PAL. It was, it was, it was just, it was rough. You know what I'm saying? I went to, uh, PS 62, that was the uh, elementary school, which is right across the street from, from the shelter. And, uh, you know, years went on, and then I went to the, my junior high school was right around the corner. I moved around the corner, not that far. I, st I stood in the area, you know, so it was just, you know, you know, shootouts, drug deals, um, two hand touch, basketball, you know. Kid stuff, but within a, a dangerous environment, you know. It's the hood, it's the block, it's the Bronx. When did you first realize you wanted to do music? When was that special moment in your life that you, yeah, this is what I really want to do? Yeah, I can't really pinpoint the day, but I know I was always a fan of music. You know, we can all, that's what we had, you know, was music. You know, we always had a radio that worked. That you can was, that recall was the definite. year, the age that you were? Uh, eight years old. Not Even eight. before that, you know, we always listened to music in the house. But I mean, as far as rap, as far as hip hop, I would say like eight, nine, ten. Like, really listening to it. And I ain't never thought I could do it until later on. Um, let's see, like high teenage, high teenage years, you know. I'm just trying to bring that feeling back, you know. Just the, the, there's fans out there because they start me in the street all the time. I know it's a it's a thirst for it. Uh, yo, friend, where you going? Yo, we need you. Yo, we waiting, man. We waiting. Yo, what's, fuck this bullshit. And like, it's a day. sometimes they get mad when they look like they blaming me for the shit. Like, yo, man, how you letting this motherfucker? I'm like, yeah. You know, I could just do me. So I know it's a thirst for it. And they waiting for me, waiting for me, and I'm just trying to come back with a bang. Are you signed to any major labels? And no. If you're not, why not? Uh, the the offers just wasn't right at the time. Um, of course, in the next couple of weeks, couple of months, now we go, we got sit downs with um a couple of people and. Hopefully we can come to terms with, with with something that'll benefit both sides. It's just like looking at me, I, I make like an at least a hundred fifty thousand a year. You know, nice n nice money. You know, for independent rapper. So there's a lot of rappers that song that I know that don't make as much as me, and and they're starving. So you know when you sign that deal, you just gotta make sure it's right because, like you said, Fred, you get so many features. When you with these late with the labels, they cut them shits. Once they say you can't do nothing, you can't do anything. You can't drop a mixtape, you can't jump in a video with nobody or nothing, or you get sued and you lose everything. So it's like, is it worth it? Even if they said, Fred, here's a half a million right now, is it worth it to be shelf for life or can't do nothing and your kids is hungry, wife and everything, you can't move. So it's like, these are things that has to be figured out before I jump in a bed with a label. Do you feel happy being independent? Would you prefer being independent? Because you got artists like Mac Mill, who, you know, just dropped 
independently. Yeah. Some of the million records out there, you know. Oh, yeah, out. yeah. Uh, he dropped, he, he never should ever sign, sign a major, a major joint. He, he doesn't need it. But the only reason why I, I would want a major deal is because I know my bars and I know people need to hear this. They can get you out to the world quicker than you can. That machine gets, like, it, it, it spreads. So... I, I I need I need the world to know Fred the Godson is. I know my rounds, my flow, everything is special. You know, the greats complimented. I just need everybody to know I'm here. You know, so